Well, one of the scoffers in the last days was a guy named James Hutton. James Hutton lived in the late 1700s, and he wrote a book and said, the earth is much older than everybody thinks. Now, you need to understand, during James Hutton's lifetime, most people believed the Bible, and most people thought the earth was about 6,000 years old. But this was also a time of many revolutions. We had the American Revolution, the French Revolution, the Spanish, the Polish, the German. Everybody's getting rid of the king and establishing democracies. Well, whether that's good or bad is another subject, but the fact is the Bible says to honor the king. And some people thought the Bible was an obstacle to their political objectives. And so they wanted to discredit the Bible. So back when everybody thought the earth was a few thousand years old, James Hutton came along and said it's millions of years old. He was one of the first guys in the Western world to come across this idea and say, oh wow, maybe the earth is real old. James Hutton developed an idea called uniformitarianism. The present is the key to the past. In other words, the way things are happening now is the way they've always been happening. Just like Peter prophesied these guys would come. Well, I think the Bible is the only perfect key to the past, but that's another story. The fact is, James Hutton's book that he wrote had a very strong influence on a young lawyer from Scotland. The lawyer's name was Charles Lyell. Charles Lyell, the lawyer, hated the Bible. Somebody calculated one time that if all the lawyers in the world were laid end to end around the equator, we would all be better off. <laughs> in 1830, Charles Lyell wrote this book right here, Principles of Geology. Here on this book, you can see his hatred for the Bible kind of ooze off every page. This guy really did not like the Bible. He kept referring to it as ancient doctrines. You know, you're outdated if you believe the Bible. He talked about those people who have religious prejudices because they believe the Bible. He said, the men of superior talent who thought for themselves and were not blinded by authority. I mean, you can just skin through, skin through it for yourself and you'll see he didn't like the Bible. Charles Lyell said his goal was to free the science from Moses. What do you suppose he meant by that? You see, people who read what Moses wrote will feel that God made the world in six days and the flood formed most of the geology of the world. Noah's flood messed up the real estate big time. And if people believe the book that Moses wrote, they're going to think that coal, oil, natural gas formed from the flood when things got buried. And they're going to think the canyons formed as the water ran off from the flood. Lyle didn't like that idea. He wanted people to believe the earth is millions of years old. Charles Lyle, in this book, building on the work of a couple other guys, he developed the idea that each layer of the earth is a different age. And he invented what we call today the geologic column. How many have ever heard of the geologic column before? He divided the earth up into layers, and they gave each one a name, an age, and an index fossil. Maybe you saw the movie Jurassic Park, named after the Jurassic layer. Each layer was given a name, and they told everybody how old it was. Now, this was done in 1830, long before there ever was carbon dating, potassium argon dating, rubidium strontium dating, lead, to, lead 208, lead 206, uranium 235, uranium 238. None of those existed. This was all done based on the assumption that each layer is a different age. They made up the whole thing out of the clear blue sky. 